In a light-hearted take on Prince Harry's fixation with awards, South Park delivers an uproarious critique. Renowned for its fearless lampooning of society's elite and taboo topics, the animated series once again takes center stage in poking fun at the British royal family member. Unveiling a storyline that blends humor and introspection seamlessly, viewers are treated to yet another masterpiece from South Park's creators. Prior to proceeding, kindly subscribe and enable notifications for updates. In the Worldwide Awards episode, a character called Terence is evidently portraying Prince Harry. Right from his initial appearance on the screen, it's conspicuous that this interpretation of royalty has an intense enthusiasm towards acquiring all types of awards and accolades, be it Grammys or Oscars or any unfamiliar regional honor. Terence remains extremely determined in amassing as many trophies as possible in his collection. Terence is unapologetic about trumpeting his chances of receiving various awards and making everything he does alludes to obtaining yet another accolade. In an amusing instance, Terence excitedly declares, I must receive my award for the supreme use of a cell phone in a bathroom, conveying its utmost significance. It goes without saying that the excessive rendition serves to hyperbolize Prince Harry's public image. In reality, he has been open about his aspiration for acclaim and approval by often referring to his repertoire of accolades and accomplishments in interviews. However, this fixation with recognition has not eluded criticism as many people have accused him of prioritizing fame and prestige over genuine endeavors. The South Park creators took advantage of this apparent flaw in the character and developed it, transforming Terence into an amusingly pitiful portrayal of someone who craves recognition so intensely that he'll go to great lengths to secure it. His relentless aspiration for accolades at any expense, even if means harming his spouse's chances of success, creates a wince-inducing yet comical dynamic. Prince Harry appeared to be displeased with the way he was depicted in the show as evidenced by his social media posts soon after it aired. He seemed offended and this only validated one of the main ideas presented in the episode that Prince Harry is overly concerned about how others perceive him and responds strongly to any criticism or ridicule. The South Park writers have consistently defended their episode, asserting that the portrayal of Terence is not a direct onslaught against Prince Harry. Rather, it serves as an overall critique on celebrity idolization and our society's fixation with fame and acknowledgement. One of the producers of the show stated that they are simply reflecting society back to itself and demonstrating how absurd everything has become. They suggested if Prince Harry feels targeted by this, he should self-reflect and inquire as to why. There is undoubtedly a valid argument to be made in today's social media-driven world where we all aspire to gain recognition and influence. The insatiable desire for validation has become an almost universal occurrence. South Park effectively critiques this cultural phenomenon by utilizing Prince Harry as a surrogate representative of the larger issue. Apart from the evident humor and social commentary, this episode prompts profound inquiries regarding celebrity culture and the media's influence on shaping public opinion. The portrayal of Prince Harry as an exaggerated version of himself compels us to contemplate how prominent figures, including those within royal families, are commodified for consumption and subjected to intense scrutiny. Ultimately, the Worldwide Awards serves as a comical and penetrating critique of contemporary celebrity culture. Its sardonic approach effectively dissects society's fixation on recognition and stardom that has permeated our collective consciousness.